This sculpture is a request from one of our subscribers and he requested that I sculpt the Incredible Hulk except this time as part of the 1978 TV series The Incredible Hulk. And it's going to hopefully look like low for I'm Using monster clay for the sculpture, I could have done it with wax or even water clay, but I have another project that I'm doing with water clay, so I didn't want to overlap it. And I did the same thing that I did for the last one, just bulk it up with aluminum foil and then put a thin coat of oil-based clay on top. And that's one of the things I don't particularly like about the, this oil clay, it's just very slow moving and it lends itself better to smaller statues rather than the 15 inch sculptures that I tend to do. One of the things I can tell you is that if you have a microwave, use it. Put your clay in there for about three minutes and it's going to be in a very good consistency for a while that you can manipulate it much easier. One thing I like about the monster clay is that it's got a lot of wax, so it doesn't crumble in your hand. A lot of oil clay that I've used, like Chavant and even J-Mac, it tends to leave like these little crumbs as you're like raking through it and moving it around. This one does have more wax and it feels much better, I think, for finishing rather than starting. It's gonna take me some time to really develop this character and I'm just in the early stages. It's very difficult to kind of move it. I would expect oil-based clay to be a little bit easier to move, but this clay is a medium and it tends to be, it feels harder because also my studio is fairly cold and the outside is about 40 degrees. If you have any ideas for the whole sculpture, now is the time to post in the comments. I was thinking about having him clench a metal pipe as you see in some frame grabs from the show. I want to maybe have a bar of steel. I don't know, maybe it's too cheesy. You let me know in the comments below. He's gonna have human proportions, but you know, Lo Ferrigno does not have really traditional human proportions. He's pretty big. The thing I'm struggling is just perhaps the bottom part and everything. It's more difficult than most people realize. And I think, uh, at least for me, with oil-based clay, it's a lot harder to start it. And the medium, like the middle part is easier. And also then the finishing part is also a little bit harder because you have to rely on scraping tools to do the details. But I kind of like the idea with this sort of thing, I can remove the head and then I can work on it in my hands and you really get to look at the 3D on it. And the arms, the leg, I can do that. If you look at my Batman sculpture that I did, that I did in Monster Clay, it's the same thing. I removed parts and then I worked them in my hands. Even though you didn't see it, I did, I did do that because traditionally in a water-based clay, you can't do that as easily because then you would have to reattach it, make sure that there's no seam. And with this, I normally would have, if it was a water-based clay, I would have to kind of look down and up in order to really see what's happening with the sculpture. So thus far, I am just kind of working on it slowly. It's gonna be a long project, but I'm hoping on finishing it soon. So guys, stay tuned for more videos on this particular sculpture and if you like the video make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe we're at 21,000 subscribers and i never thought i'd get here as quickly as i did from 10,000 to 20 has been like really incredible i really appreciate you guys watching and thank you and i'll see you in the next video